Find out tonight if you'll have to pay more for your sewer bill. That's if city leaders in Fort Smith vote to raise your rates. 4029's Brett Rains tells us why they say higher rates are the best way to fix the sewer system. He's live tonight in Fort Smith. Daniel, here in less than an hour, city directors will vote on raising sewer rates. If passed, you can expect your bill to nearly triple over three years. Many people don't want to pay more for what they flush down the drain. That's not nothing that I'm looking forward to at all. Yes, sir. Every dollar matters, and uh, myself, I have children, and uh, it's just it's just very difficult at this time. I dreamed that I would not have to pay more. But that dream is not reality. Over the past 14 years, the city has already spent $200 million on its sewers. That money came from the city sales tax. Now city leaders say if you use the sewer system, you should pay more to fix it. And the sales tax is a good revenue source for one-time cost like construction cost. But it is not a good revenue source for ongoing sewer operating cost. Fort Smith will spend $480 million over the next 12 years to fix and maintain the sewers. The federal government says it must be done. The clock is City Administrator clock. Ray Gossick says besides a new sales tax, the only way to pay for it is higher rates on your sewer bill. The Board of Directors has considered that in the past. Uh, but they don't feel that now is the time to be asking citizens to pass a new sales tax. And the meeting starts here at 6 o'clock. We'll let you know if they approve the higher rates and how much you could expect to pay. Live in Fort Smith, Brett Rains, 4029 News. Thank you, Brett. Well, if passed, the new rates will take effect in May, and you can expect to see the increases on your bill in June.